Right, you'll probably see by that that I'm not a brilliant guitarist. I'm uh, someone who's been plodding on for a long time. Did nothing for years and years and years till a couple of years ago when I picked it up again. Um, I also took a few lessons off uh, Jimmy Smith and this is one of the things he, he taught me uh, last year sometime. I never did much with it but over the time I've just tried it just cre creeps in there so I just thought it'd be something interesting for uh, obviously the good guitars out there are going to look at me and say that's rubbish uh, and I'm not a guitar teacher, I'm not a tutor, I'm nothing like that but I thought this might be interesting for even beginners uh, it's something that they can, uh, you know, as well as just playing open chords, when they, it's something they can, they can start to learn to play and to just have that little rhythm going, which is useful in all sorts of uh, different types of music, country and blues and all sorts. Um, so for beginners and intermediates, um, I just thought it's something I'd do. See how it goes. Right, so what we're doing is we're, we're playing an ear, so it's basically uh, we're using the, the one fingered bar across the ear, but you're not playing, you're not playing the, uh, the first string. So it's just like a little bit of a blue shuffle. Playing on the D string. from the D. Then you're moving up onto the G string. Same thing, then back down again. Now we'll go down. Right, let's slow this down a bit and also on play single notes. So so you, you bar your ear, but if you just play with just single fingers and strings, if you go to the fourth one string up, which is your, your D string, and it's on the second fret, then you're going up staying on the D string up to the fourth fret. Then you're dropping down to the fifth string, which is your ear. Then back to your fourth string. So it's. So you go back to that open ear. So it is ear string, second fret, ear string, fourth fret, back to the ear. Sorry, what am I doing? It's not the A string, it's the D string in it. D string, second fret.
just those two strings the D and the A now when you're changing you move the whole thing down onto the G string which is your third string second fret and you repeat Oops. Then back down again to where we were before on the fourth string, second fret. Then we drop down to the E string and bring the E string in as well, but the same thing. different different ways of playing different rhythms different versions so so to say is, uh, is the plectrum, um, your, your right hand movement, you know, it's not all, if you're just going to play one movement down, it's not going to sound as effective, but certainly to start learning, that's probably okay. <laughs> enjoyed that and some of you found it useful um, and I haven't showed myself up too much um, if you want to have a go yourself doesn't matter if you're a beginner intermediate or one of these guys on the group who are professional you know contribute to the group help the group grow help people who uh, want to learn help them um, give something back I guess uh, I'm not sure people want what I'm giving back but have a go I'm recording now. Right.